Hey guys, welcome back to Resiliently Me TV where we go through our journey one step at a time. And today we are taking out these old crusted busted braids. They were good, lasted a good amount of time. The girl who did my hair did a really good job, but it's definitely time to take these bad boys out. I had these braids in for about a little bit over a month. I got them done, I believe, November 4th for the Millennium Twitter. Go see my man or whatever, my man Mario. And it's time to let them go, okay? Throw it away, put it in the bag. And the new people that are watching this channel for the first time, welcome to the channel. My name is Erica. Thank you so much to my new subscribers and my existing subscribers for joining the Resilient Life. And always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell everyone about Resiliently Me TV because we're going nowhere but up from here, okay? And that's on what? Period. Um, so yeah, you see me taking it out. When I cut it, I cut it too long and it took me longer to take the braid out so y'all about to see me cutting it again and cutting a little bit shorter because us black girls we cut our braids so long like we don't know how long our hair is now it's wishful thinking that our hair grew that long in a month's time but that didn't happen um, I probably did get some new growth from these braids but I just don't realize it you know, I feel like you don't realize you have new growth until a good amount of time goes by. So I go ahead and take these braids out. Little by little, we get through there. I had like 18 braids going straight across. So I took those 18 braids out. And me taking out my hair is not really stressful or tiring for me. I know some people don't like to do it, but taking my hair out and doing my hair is very therapeutic and relaxing for me to do. And it's perfect to do on a Sunday like today. And then my stylist, she does put like some feet in braids in the back to keep it from pulling in the back when you get them. If you ever got straight backs, you know that sometimes in the back you may get some bumps from it being tight or pulling in the back of your hair. But her putting this row of knotless really alleviated that. And I really was thankful that she did do that. I didn't understand that at first, but in the long run, I appreciated it. All right, y'all, so I just got done taking out all of my hair. And I used to pre-poo my hair a lot when I first went natural and I stopped and I was thinking about it like, I need to start back doing my pre-poos and doing um, my hot oil treatments because especially after these braids, I have like these, it kind of feels like knots at the root. It's not really knots, they come undone because my hair doesn't really tangle like that. But I saw that if you use a banana and some extra virgin olive oil is a good pre-poo. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this little concoction. I used to make concoctions like these like all the time when I first went natural. I used to do it with eggs um, for a protein treatment. Let me throw this away, child. Let me stop being dirty. I mean, I was gonna throw it away anyway, but let me throw it away in the video. Okay, so it says to take some olive oil. So I'm gonna take some olive oil. I don't know how much, I'm just gonna eye it. And then I'm gonna mash it up. Let's mash it up. This banana is very ripe, so I probably should have put this in a, my blender but to really make a real paste like because if y'all can see it's mashing but it's like more work you know and my hair is pretty thick so this won't I don't know this would be enough for my entire head I'm probably have to put some more olive oil in this because this is kind of time out y'all not me smacking the gum like that. My bad, y'all. I know y'all hear that throughout the video. I just wanted to comment and formally apologize for smacking that gum like that in y'all ear, okay? Now back to the video. Thick, like, and it's supposed to be smooth like a, a paste, you know? Put a little bit more olive oil. And let's see. We winging this, like, I low key. I was like, maybe I can get away with not washing my hair right now because um, it's like 
5.13 right now. And I just want to eat and chill out because I'm hungry. But I'm like, no, I can't put gel on my hair and stuff. I don't want it to get matted. My hair doesn't mat. But I don't want to take that chance either. Because my hair is like a very soft texture. <clears throat> it's my soft texture. It's very soft like. So it doesn't take much for me, my hair to do the right thing. And it doesn't really get dry either. It's not really dry. It's very soft. So I really should not be lazy and, do, and put it in a blender. I just don't feel like cleaning that out. I need to wash dishes anyway. I need to clean up in general. But this is gonna do, we're gonna make this work even if I just put the olive oil. I just really need to put this just on my roots really to like break it up break up from where the braid started and it says online i'm supposed to let this sit for 30 minutes and y'all gonna see me put it in in a few moments all right y'all so we're back and i got y'all really zoomed in so y'all can see you know the little i don't even know what this is called or where it comes from because i don't put no product in the back of my head besides like oil I just been putting like sweet almond oil. Look at my little curly sideburns, period. <laughs> but I only put oil on the back of my head. So I definitely need to pre pull and like detangle before I wash. I am going to finish up with a protein treatment. But normally I just twist my hair or whatever or braid it up and just let it air dry and then take it loose in the morning. But since it is cooler outside, I think I'm just going to blow dry my hair since I am doing it later. Blow dry my hair after I'm done and, um, Probably just rock her in a bun or whatever. Or just blow it out. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the fork to put it on there. It's, oh, it's very thick. And work it in. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need more. I think this will be enough. Just a little bit works right in my hair. So just comb through it. To you that's what i was saying about my hair being like a softer texture it doesn't take much for it to be detangled yep that knot came right on out came right on out so you can see here it's no longer tangled up right there so this works for detangling and look at that the curls bouncing up my hair likes this. Yeah. Boss, had, I was showing y'all before, like, as I was come going through it, how much hair I lost, but, um, I don't know if I said this early in the video, but, probably did um i had this in for a month a month today is what the 11th so i got it done on the 4th so it's been like a month and seven days well a month and a week i had this in so and your hair sheds every day so this is like normal So after I ate my food, I went ahead and started to wash my hair, condition all that good stuff, and wash all the residue from the pre-poo that I put in my hair. You see it in the sink. Got it all out. 
And then I followed up with my Curls Unleash Leave-In Conditioner, my Sweet Almond Oil to lock in the moisture, and my Curl Souffle to get the curls popping in. So I originally wanted to blow it out, but then after eating, I didn't feel like doing all of that. So I just separated my hair, put my product in, and put it in like six to eight braids and let it air dry. So that's what I ended up doing with my hair. And the next day I put it in the bun when I went to work. So I didn't feel like being bothered with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick little Sunday video. Just showing a little bit of what I do to my hair to keep it healthy and in its natural state. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm so happy we made it to Vlogmas episode four. So exciting. Well, actually five, but no, it's four. It's four. So thank you so much for watching. You See you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace out. Oh,